Hi, this is JT Von Lunen. I'm president of RMUS, and I'm here today with uh, Eric Olson, founder of Aerial Thermal Imaging. And we're very excited to work with Eric on the uh, RMUS OGI solution. What is OGI? Optical gas imaging. So Eric, tell us a little bit about what you've created here. Uh, we've got the FreeFly Astro as the platform, and uh, you've developed the payload for this, as well as uh, the software, which we're really excited about. We'll talk about both of those in just a minute. Sure. Yeah, so we've uh, built around the Sierra Olympic Ventus OGI camera. Uh, we developed the whole payload onboard uh, software control, and all of that uh, control gets sent back to the ground station to the pilot, so the pilot has full control of the optical gas imaging camera. So everything's integrated, very easy to use. Um, you know, we've had a lot of experience with the FreeFly Astro. Easy to set up, very portable, um, very easy for battery maintenance. Um, tell us a little bit about the software that you've created. Yeah, of course. We've learned from past experiences that we needed to make it as easy as possible. Uh, we wanted uh, one button to create some type of actionable data, some kind of data that can be ingested into an Eldar software. So we're working on that right now. Uh, we've got a couple pilot cases that we're doing right now where we can customize our software. So one button on the tablet you can push and it will generate a, an incident into an Eldar software. Cool. And what I really like about the, the ground station here is the, the portability. Um, you know, if you're out in the field for a long time, this is going to get a little bit heavy. So he's got it uh, set up on the tripod here. Yep. Uh, I could see also dual operators where one person's actually working the tablet, the other uh, sure. operating the drone. Yep, absolutely. The here link comes out and uh, a pilot can focus on just flying the aircraft and another person can be looking at the monitor. Another question for you here. What do you see like the target use cases for this? Definitely oil and gas energy, chemicals, and landfills. We've actually had a lot of requests for people who want to fly these at landfills to find where methane or other hydrocarbons are leaking out of the ground. Cool. And then uh, what, what's your uh, flight time? Here we're you know, in Utah, we're about 4,200 feet. Yep, uh, so at, we, we tested this just last week in Wyoming. Uh, we were at 6,500 feet uh, MSL, and the temperature was 19 degrees Fahrenheit and we were able to fly it for 22 minutes. Oh, excellent. We also flew it in Texas quite a bit, and we were able to get over 25, sometimes almost 30 minutes. Good, good. Okay, well, there's gonna be more to this. We're just getting started here. We're working on getting this on a couple other airframes for a little bit longer duration flight, as well as different versions of the, the, the Ventus core with other types of you know, TDLS lasers and, and zoom cameras <clears> and uh, a lot more to come. So thank you, Eric. We look forward to working with you. And if you need more information, visit the rmus.com website, follow the link on the video here, or reach out to us at sales at rmus.com.